Hey guys, it's Jeremy Dutch from Dutch Farms. Just giving you a little bit of a harvest update. It is the second day of deer season here, so I'm sporting my camo and my blaze orange hat. I got some hunters around me and uh, just trying to uh, keep up with maybe tradition or uh, at least the theme of the, uh, the time frame we're in here. So want to give you guys a little bit of an update. We've got about, I think around 80 acres of corn left and uh, we'll be finished up with our corn. Corn's been doing great. Uh, as of right now, we've got about a 207 bushel average throughout the, all the fields we've been in, so we're tickled with that, especially since the growing season we've had this year. So, um, in light of that, our, uh, our tilling uh, practices are, are in full swing. We've got most of our anhydrous knifed in, and we're, we're doing a lot of uh, ripping some of our corn on corn ground and doing a lot of vertical tilling to prep our bean ground here. So as I'm out here running this vertical tiller, I thought I'd give you guys a first-hand look at what it looks like here. So just to uh, let you see what we got going on, we've got the uh, vertical tiller we pulled, a 4755. This is a Landall 25-foot vertical tiller. It's actually not a primary tilling machine. It is more, I guess, probably a finishing tool. But if you look on this, we've got a set of disc hangs right here that actually lift and shift the dirt then you go back to the second set of disc gangs that lift and shift the dirt and then all the way in the back here we have the beaters and back in the beaters uh, section we actually break up a lot of the clumps that didn't uh, break up what we like about this i'm going to show you a little bit of ground that has been vertical tilled what we like about this stuff here is that if you look through our field right here, I'm going to get you real close. We've got a lot of right sizing of our material. If you'll see, here's a corn stalk right here. Um, you know, it's really you know, pretty, pretty good as far as size wise. And uh, it's got good uh, uh, soil contact there for de decomposition. So we really love this vertical tiller for right sizing our material, prepping our seed bed. Uh, get you to another area here. We've got some, uh, this is really kind of what it looks like. If you look down in here, this dirt is really mellow. And you can kind of just dig down into the seedbed area. We're down on this vertical tiller at about, oh, I would say an inch and a half. We pull that about seven miles an hour. And what that does for us in our bean ground is it really gives us good, you know, stock to, see, uh, stock to soil contact for decomposition with these new varieties and these new, um, you know, stalks here, the, the stalks are harder to break up, so we, we've gone to this to try to reduce some trash in the spring as we come through and uh, no-till our beans in. And the added benefit is that our, our seed bed is nice and mellow and it's uh, fully prepped. This year was the first year we did this in our no-till beans and we had great population, great stands, probably to the point where I think we'll be able to reduce um, some of our population as far as, you know, no-till population uh, as far as kernels per acre. So we're, we're pretty pleased, we're pretty happy with what it's doing, and I uh, just thought I'd give you guys an update. So stay tuned.